Oh boy. I, uh, well, I ha my question more has to do with getting people to buy into those kind of zoning changes, and not only the people in the community, but the politicians, to make these sorts of changes that bring people, legalize this form of housing that people are already living in. You come halfway across the country, <laughs> you come to talk to people, and you get someone in line who reminds you of the one and only thing you failed at <laughs> in your first term in office. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Calgary remains the only major city in Canada where secondary suites, basement suites, and second suites in homes are not legal in many parts of the city. Um, I don't want to get into too much detail on this because it's kind of inside baseball, but this is very, very, very wrong. And it's been an extremely difficult, almost intractable political situation for me. Because every single survey we do of people in the community says that about 80, 70 to 80 percent of Calgarians agree with my point of view on this, which is that we should legalize these suites everywhere and regulate them for safety. However, the remaining 20 percent of people seem to include eight members of my city council. <laughs> Uh, who are completely out of step, not only with the times, but they're out of step with the nature of the crisis, and frankly, they're out of step with the moral and ethical imperative to actually do something here. We have anywhere between 35 and 50,000 illegal suites in Calgary, including the one you lived in. I hope you had a good landlord. Good. Have I so taken out, though? Oh, God. <laughs> and so we have said that up to 100,000 of our neighbors don't deserve the same legal protections that the rest of us have. That if your landlord is not good, that if your landlord is abusing you, if there's mice, if there's mold, if the smoke detectors don't work, you have no recourse, and you know what? That's okay. Well, I don't think that's right. I think that every single person, no matter their income, deserves a safe and decent place to live, and I think that secondary suites are an innovative and important private sector solution to the problem. All I need to do is convince one more of my council members. Feel free to start a letter writing campaign.